Hey folks, welcome back to the Portable Gamer, welcome back to Farming Simulator 17, and welcome back to the Western Shore. So this is the Compost Master. Indeed it is. This is a panel you get here. We've got about 37,000 liters of chaff in the hopper. It's half full of fuel, and we've got about 12,000 liters of compost out the other side. So I did rent the Coda Universal Pack tanker the yellow tanker the shell tanker and that's what I used to bring the fuel down here we didn't really need to use that we could have used the red tanker that we have on our farm or we could have rented another tanker and used that I don't think this requires the Coda Universal pack or bullet bill would have mentioned it somewhere in the notes but I know on German maps it typically does require the Coda Universal pack the reason I had to bring the fuel down here is we got a lot of grass in from our fields but I forgot this thing only holds 50,000 and We've got more right in our trailer here. So we filled the bunker. Well, we didn't quite fill it. We've got 150,000 liters of chaff in the bunker back at the farm, back at Bramble Lane. We clamped that and covered it. Get this back up a little bit more. We clamped that and covered it, and it is fermenting. But we still have grass in the fields. So what we need to do is get this thing running so we have a place to put that. Because if, if we don't power this up, then we won't have anywhere. Well, I mean, we could put it in another. I guess there's another clamp on the farm, or we could take it down to the BGA, but you know what I mean. This was our plan, so we got to stick to the plan. And we did spend 23000 on fuel, which I'm not super happy about, but, I mean, I don't think it's going to be economically economical, if you know what I'm saying. I don't think we're going to get 23,000 pounds of, like, pounds, British pounds. I don't think we're going to get 23,000 worth of compost out of that that we could sell to recover even the cost of the fuel, but we'll see. We'll see how it all works out. So uh, we also need to hustle up because it is day six of spring. All of our grass is in. Seasons carries over one layer of fertilizer after you mow grass, but we need to get a second layer on there before it begins growing, which could happen as early as tomorrow in game, day one of summer. And I definitely want to have three layers of fert on there when we get, when we get second cut, when we go to second cut. Did I say that right? Yeah, when we go to second cut, I want to have three layers of fert on there. So on the off chance, whoa, on the off chance that we cannot get another layer on for some reason after it has started growing, let's get at least one layer on while it is harvested, while it's purple. So get one on there today and that'll be two. And then we'll have the rest of the green stages to get a third one on. It's late in the day for me. I normally record these early. It is late in the day. Uh, what else is going on? Oh, realism. This is the last time I'm going to talk about realism. Not, It's not like you keep asking me to and I'm like, this is the last time I'm going to talk about realism. I don't mean it that way. I just mean, I think we've just about tied off this topic. This map was not made for more realistic. More realistic was not made for this map. I'm never going to shit talk any modder. I'm just not. At the same time, I'm an adult and I get to have an opinion as long as I express it respectfully. I get to have an opinion and from everything that I've seen and like the actual comments the actual person who made more realistic I have seen their comments and my opinion is this person is really kind of obsessed with the idea of tractors going very very slowly and you know tractors do go very very slowly sometimes let's get some four-wheel drive locked in here speaking of tractors do go very slowly sometimes but just because they sometimes go very slowly does not mean that they always go very slowly i knew a guy i knew a guy i knew a guy whose boss told him to go to tennessee and pick up a gray doll you know what a gray doll is it's one of these things that's a gray doll told him to go pick up a gray doll and drive it from tennessee to connecticut they have a top speed of like 18 miles per hour it took them almost a week I shit you not and it was a ton of trouble at way stations and it, it was a stupid idea his boss was just too cheap to pay to have the thing put on a truck and taken there anyway because that trip took almost a week you could say it takes a week to drive from Tennessee to Connecticut it doesn't you can do it in a long afternoon it's really not that far because it can doesn't mean it always does. And so when, when somebody posts videos of 
giant MB tracks going up a hill at one mile per hour? Sure, that has happened. But that doesn't mean it always happens. It doesn't mean that that is the only way to get a tractor pulling a load of silage up a hill. So I came up with a word. I, it's, somebody else may have come up with this word before I did, but I also came up with it, if that makes sense. And the word I came up with is feelism. Ah, huh? clever, eh? Feelism, it feels realistic. It may not be 100% realistic, but it feels realistic. Because if we're aiming for 100% realism on our farm, we might end up being really, really frustrated. And also, the game itself simply may not be capable of that kind of realism. Right? So when, we, when we're setting up a, an implement in Farm Sim, what do we do? We look at horsepower. There's about a thousand other things that go into consideration when you're making those choices. Because you've got the mass of the tractor, which is a thing. It's in the it's in the XML. It's just nothing that we see when we're in game. You have to go into the XML to see the mass of the tractor. And you got gear ratios, differential, four-wheel drive, etc., etc., all kinds of things. I mean, we talk about horsepower for implements. Torque is what really matters, right? We never mention torque. You never hear torque talked about when we're leasing or buying equipment. So the game itself sort of pushes us toward not necessarily unrealistic, but let's call it simplified uh, physics. And that's probably a good thing because we don't really have enough information to make complicated choices about, yeah. How do we feel about this right now? This is a 200 horsepower tractor. That is a grade, no doubt. That is a 200 horsepower tractor struggling to pull an empty tanker. Not entirely realistic and extremely frustrating. So I'm going to continue messing with the XML. I want to keep more realistic. I'm going to keep it. I want to keep gearbox. I'm going to keep it, but we need to find a way to make this work. So what we're aiming for now is no longer called realism. We're not aiming for realistic. We're aiming for Fealistic. Huh? It's clever. And we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I do like the weight, or, or what I feel to be the weight of the tractors with more realistic. And I like gearing down, and I like the sounds from Gearbox add-on. We just need to find a way to, to make it happen, and we'll, we'll keep making adjustments until we do. I'm not giving up on either of those. But as it stands, I mean, even taking the 10,000 liters of fuel to the compost master using the T-Dub, there was a hill. It was The hill was probably 150 meters long. It took me a good five minutes to get up that hill. And it was the same thing. You go three or four meters, and then you have to stop, come to a complete stop, shift down to the lowest gear, go another three or four meters. It's not realistic. But I also don't want to be turning off gearbox add-on every time. You know, I mean, we have that option. We have that option right now. I'm not even confident that we can get this thing now full. I'm not even confident we can get this thing up the lane to field 6-8. But we'll see. If we can't, we can turn off Gearbox. I don't want it to become too much of a habit. I want to search for an adjustment a setting in more realistic that lets us run everything. And just, you know, it's just running and we're just good to go. So that's the, that ties off the topic of realism. And we're done. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, oh, here, before we pull completely out of here, let me show you this. Set the brake. And I did show you where the bales are, yes? Yeah, they're back here to the right. We got them in there. So we did get 150,000 liters of grass in here, which is equivalent to how many bales? About 30 bales? 40 bales. Yeah, about 40 bales. So this will be. This is cooking right now. This will be done in a few days. Uh, just a couple little, I don't know what those are. Not a big deal. Not a big deal either way. So we've got silage to sell now. We've got silage to feed cows if we choose to. And what we could do, what we could do is take the bales down and sell them at the BGA because they'd be maybe a little quicker to load. I don't know, possibly. I don't, I don't know if it would be quicker to go one scoop at a time with the telehandler into a tipper. 
or if it would make more sense to just put the bales on our dually trailer. I, I don't know. Unknown. But we could take that down and sell it straight away. And as I said, I'll find out what compost is worth and whether we're going to make any money after spending 23000 for fuel. And when I went down there to pick up this JCB, we put 10,000 liters in there. You saw it was already half empty. So that is, uh, you know, 23000 and and uh, who knows how much money we're going to make from that. Oh, I also got a comment. Thank you for all the comments, by the way. And thank you for, uh, the channel grew about 25% in February. It was, it's the best month ever for the channel. It's still a very small channel, but it is getting to the point where I no longer have to say it is a very small channel. I always feel like adding that qualifier on there when I talk about the channel. Like, hey dude, easy. You got like 500 subs, calm down. So that's me getting out in front of that, letting you know, I'm already calm. I know it's a small channel, but it's not as small as it was. The channel is definitely growing. And that is all thanks to you. You are a fantastic audience. And uh, I can't tell you how humbling it is to know that anybody would take time out of their day to watch a video that I made. That just amazes me. And uh, thank you for getting it. Thank you for understanding what it is that I'm trying to do here. And coming back to watch these videos. It means the world to me. So thank you for that. And the growth of the channel is all on you. I'll keep making, I will continue making the very best videos that I can. And you let me know in the comments what I'm doing right and what you want me to do differently. So thank you for all the comments. And I did get another comment. Somebody said, well, you just need to reconfigure your gamepad so that you can manually shift up and down. That way you can hold those gears. That would solve all your gearbox add-on problems. I hear you. You're not wrong. The problem is that I've got a thousand plus hours in 17 with one setup for my gamepad. And then I duplicated that setup for FS19 and I got 600 hours there. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm on about. I can't do this too often. This is absolutely uh, ridiculous. Both in the sense of realism and I play video games to have fun. This is making me want to smash things. Come on, get up there. Uh, 1600 hours total time on this key configuration I think between muscle memory and me just being kind of stubborn I'm gonna stick with it so you're not wrong I could configure a uh, d-pad to shift but I think I'm gonna stick with what I got and that means I need to come up with another fix via MR adjustments and potentially some gearbox add-on settings right so that ties off more realistic more fearlistic let us never speak of it again so we go right through there. Time, 13 minutes, perfect. I think we'll just do uh, a couple laps. Now, 15. Hard manure and slurry usage was abysmal. You could put 60,000 liters of hard manure in a spreader and then make it like one length and the thing would be empty. 19. By the time we get to FS19, it's all fixed. It's fantastic. 17 is like... We're somewhere in the middle. So I'm not sure what kind of... I don't know how, how much use we're going to get out of what we got in here. I don't know if we're going to get one length, half a field, whole field, two fields. Unknown. I suspect more like the latter. So we'll pull this back down right in front of the gate. We'll turn it on. Uh, cruise control set to six miles per hour. Sounds about right. Let's spray some poo on our stone wall. Here we go. Oh, I also got a great tip from somebody talking about the speed of tractors and implements. Three to four miles per hour, four to five miles per hour. Yeah, absolutely, I agree with you. And it, I try to keep those speed settings uh, realistic. And I, I don't know if, when I'm watching YouTube, I don't know if anything, I don't want to say, I don't want to know, I don't wanna, uh, let me back up, it's late in the day, like I said, my, I'm all talked out. I don't know if it bothers me more than anything else. But I know it, it's, uh, it's frustrating for me to see a YouTuber or a streamer driving, you know, 20 miles an hour in a combine harvester, like while they're harvesting crop. So I do want to keep those speeds. That, I think, is, is one of the easiest ways to slip out of immersion is to simply be driving too fast for any given piece of equipment, whether it's a sprayer in this case or a plow, cultivator, whatever. So I definitely want to be mindful of those speeds. And if you see me going too fast or too slow for that matter, 
either one just let me know in the comments normally that piece of kit would go you know x miles per hour i want to hear it man i want to be as realistic as possible as fealistic now nah, i should probably i should probably let that one go it was cute once i want to go to the well too many times right uh and what else cows silage compost master uh trying to think what else whoa i just fell out of my own tractor that's uh that <laughs> there's a reason for that let me tell you why that just happened i've got a uh, shoulder button and x on my gamepad to activate an implement standard setting all right that's that's default setting for some reason once you once you've pressed that key combo it's like it can still sense x as an independent press so if I release the shoulder button, even just like a millisecond before I release the X button, it sees it as me only having just pressed the X button, which is exit the vehicle. And then we jump out the, we jump out the whip as it's rolling. That's it's like some kind of a thing that you do. No. Uh, and it's only in FS17. It does not happen in FS19, which makes me... Th think whatever uh, timing there is on the way that key commands are, are delivered, input bindings are delivered to the game, whatever timer there is on those, like a, a separation between one key command and the next, or who knows what, but the sensitivity seems to have been dialed back a little bit in 19, and that's why I don't fall out of the tractor, but I do it constantly off camera. Oh, that's something else. There. There's something else we can talk about as we finish this field. I worked uh, probably... I'd say about five hours getting the rest of that grass mowed and picked up. I still have more of it to pick up. And then we will have to fertilize the rest of these fields off camera. I will have to fertilize the rest of these fields off camera. I don't mind. I'm not complaining. I'm playing farm sim. I love it. But as Bramble Lane continues to grow, I am uh, mindful of the fact that we may run out of time to do everything that we need to do, even on X1 time. With six day seasons, I'm not joking, like we may run out of days in the week, particularly as we get into uh, weather, right? When we get into rainier weather in the fall, there are some days where you can't do certain things that you want to do. That day is uh, given over to other activities, but the activities that you had planned for that day are pushed back. So it's, you can make this game very, very challenging if you want to. You can just paint fields if you want to, if that's your thing. You know, come home from work, crack a beer, hop in a gigantic tractor and just paint fields. Good on you, man. Do what makes you happy. But I like playing this challenging play style. And we may, from time to time, not even joking, we may run out of days. So we'll see. And this is one farm. If we bought a second farm, hmm. I mean, we can't right now. We don't have enough money. But if we bought a second farm, I might have to start tabbing between vehicles. You know, I don't like to do that. Right, so we're down at the end of this row. Uh, what am I going to do off camera? We don't have any more slurry. We don't have any more. I guess I could uh, maybe take some, take some silage down to the BGA. That would make digestate. No. I don't know. Figure it out. Back this up here to the end of my row where we turned off. Set the brake. Hop right out here. And that'll be our screenshot, folks. Thanks for stopping back to check out the Portable Gamer. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Farming Simulator 17. This is the Western Shore. We'll see you next time. Take care now.